Alright, so I wanted to just do a quick video on the um, shootings that happened today uh, in Arizona. Um, for those of you who don't know, Congresswoman uh, Gabrielle uh, Giffords was uh, among those who was shot at a um, event. She was doing a kind of meet and greet with uh, some constituents, uh, supporters, aides were there, um, a federal judge uh, was also there. Um, the federal judge, along with a nine-year-old and four others, were uh, shot and killed, apparently the congresswoman. Um, was shot in the head. Uh, the doctor says the bullet passed uh, through her brain, um, but that she was still responding to commands and that she seemed to be um, conscious and that they were optimistic of, on her recovery. Um, and the man who did this shooting uh, was 22. Um, sounds like he was deranged, um, may or may not have been politically motivated, um, but the takeaway, even if it wasn't politically motivated, um, is that the rhetoric has to change. Um, it, you know, it was great seeing leaders on both sides of the aisle come out and, you know, offer up their support, and President Obama dispatched the head, uh, you know, the FBI, director of the FBI, and that's great. Um, but this was stuff that was foreshadowed if this was politically motivated, it was foreshadowed um, back in like August of 2009 um, when the Tea Party started gaining strength and started momentum. Um, you know, the rhetoric of take back our country, Obama's destroying it. Um, you know, the old saying, six and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Well, those words can set off other people. Um, people who don't have a firm grip on reality. Um, and so I guess I would just say that no matter what side of the aisle you're on, the rhetoric needs to be toned down. And m nowadays, the v seemingly violent subtext rhetoric is mostly on the right. Um, but the left had, we had our own, back in the 60s and 70s, um, our own kind of violent fervor kind of feeling that was in the air um so you know it just needs politics should never be personal and it was you know it was awkward seeing people like sarah palin um come out you know she's the one who did the whole i'm not retreating i'm reloading um she put out um you know, little flyers with uh, targets for congressional districts um, in the election. And um, Gabrielle Giffords was one of those uh, seats that had a, like, literally had, like, a shotgun, like, a range target on it. Um, and then, you know, Sharon Angle talking about Second Amendment remedies if the elections didn't go their way. Um, and so I was reading something from the... Arizona Tea Party president or whatever, um, and he was saying, we're going to have to, um, you know, watch what we say, but we don't want there to be a disclaimer every time we say that Obama's destroying the country, um, and just change the rhetoric. I mean, it's pretty easy to say, you know, well, we don't agree with Obama's tax policies because we think it'll be bad for the future of the country. The problem is, is that that doesn't incite the kind of um, violent response they're looking for. Um, so I would say to politicians and, um, you know, pundits that you can't have it both ways. Um, you can either commit to nonviolent rhetoric or you can suffer the consequences. Um, but everybody who's made incendiary comments like that, the blood is on your hands. I mean, it's not as though you know, this was a one-off and then it stopped. It's this trend where the rhetoric has gotten more violent and more personal and more almost apocalyptic. And, you know, I remember back in 09 when people were bringing in guns to rallies and stuff and it was like, you know, 
it's not enough to simply denounce. I mean, you you can't just you know throw up your hands and say, well, there are some nuts on the fringe. I mean, that's something that has to be addressed. Um, and then we have politicians who directly stoke those flames, who are adding to that rhetoric. Um, you know, they bear responsibility. Um, you know, you can't just kind of light the bomb and throw it and then not take any responsibility for who it damages. Um, words have meaning. And um, although you may just be using it as political stick and, you know, trying to grab supporters or headlines or whatever, you know, whatever the thing is, um, when it falls on the wrong ears and it gets taken in the wrong context, or maybe even the context that you intend it, um, you know, there are, there are consequences. And today... Um, six people died, and I think uh, part of the rhetoric that we've allowed to flourish, um, that the Republican Party has allowed to flourish as, you know, kind of fringe but fringe acceptable rhetoric, uh, may have played a part. So it's time for uh, the GOP to, you know, not only talk the walk, you know, talk the talk, but walk the walk on, um, you know, peacefully bringing the country together, um, because so far it really hasn't been there. So anyways, uh, my thoughts go out to, uh, the friends and family of everybody who was affected today. Um, I, I wept a little bit. I got emotional because it, it was, it's so senseless. Um, 